Hello, I'm going to just briefly go over this worksheet with you. Um, all the instructions are there, it's self-contained. You don't need to go anywhere else to find the answers. But I figure I'd explain it a little bit. Now, this is something that's probably come up before. Uh, we're talking about pesticides and something called biomagnification. And this is about pesticides we use in normal agriculture. But some of those pesticides, including targeting what they're meant to get rid of, they also can harm the environment in some cases. And this idea of biomagnification means that these toxins eventually, as they move up the food chain, so going from the bottom of the food chain down here up through the different predators, they become more concentrated. As you can see, the same amount of toxins here spread out over a huge number of organisms. Let's say this is all plankton or something. But then it gets a little bit more accumulated in these fish, which eat all these plants. Larger fish eat the smaller fish, and all of those toxins just become more and more concentrated. So it's the most dangerous for these predators at the top. There is also a couple of other terms that are gonna come up here. Uh, toxicity, so how poisonous of a chemical it is. Specificity, how good is it at targeting just what it's supposed to target, or does it hit a lot of other stuff? Persistence has to do with how long it's going to stay in the environment. Some pesticides uh, will not stay in the environment for more than a, a couple of days, and they become chemically inert but then some will stay in the environment for years and years. Usually these are the ones that we don't use anymore. So looking at this chart here, you can see the pesticide types, the names. You're gonna have a question down here at the bottom about this one in particular, organochlorines. And you can see in the example, they tell you what types there are. They tell you how long it lasts in the environment. So these organochlorines last two to 15 years in the environment where this fungicide here is just a matter of days and then it's not uh, affecting the environment anymore but these ones can last for years and affect the environment the whole time biomagnification these ones do cause biomagnification so it gets worse as you go up the food chain but something like these fungicides they don't accumulate in the fatty tissues. They don't accumulate in the body. So there's no biomagnification. That's how you read this particular, this particular chart. So answer some questions down here. There's some definitions. There's gonna be some calculations, but they give you an example. You're just dividing one number by another to get how many times more concentrated it is. And uh, we discussed both of these, so you should be able to answer those. All right, thank you very much.